Kia ora e te whanau. The Royal Commission of Inquiry into Abuse, that's into state-based and faith-based institutions, has been given to the government and will understandably become a topic in media and staff rooms around the country. So I wanted to take a moment for all of us to reflect on this significant report. You know, it's the most extensive scope of any inquiry ever undertaken in New Zealand. It's seven years of hard work during which the Commission received close to 3,000 accounts from abuse survivors and witnesses. And the results are going to be hard to read and hear and digest. After all, we're talking about people who trusted places and people to provide care for themselves and for their children. And their trust was sadly broken. So how do we respond when this topic comes up around the staff room or in conversation with family and friends? After all, how we all respond to this topic can show others a whole lot about truth and grace and ultimately the way we can point people to Jesus. So let me mention four areas. First, let's be people who recognize the courage and strength of the survivors in giving testimony to the Commission. It takes a whole lot of courage to come forward. We know that abuse is not something people just get over. They're going to carry scars of what happened their whole lives. Uh, They need our support, our care, and our prayer. Second, let's be people who never defend the indefensible. What happened was wrong. And Jesus himself has strong words to say to anyone who would harm children. In fact, he said it would be better for you if a a millstone were hung around your neck and you were thrown into the sea than for you to cause one of these little ones to stumble. You see, these abusers took a trusted place, a, a trusted relationship, and they hurt somebody else. It should never have happened. And we need to do everything we can to prevent it from ever happening again. Third, let's thank the government officials who initiated the review and those who conducted it. Now, there were 133 days of public hearings, over 1 million documents to analyse. What a distressing task it must have been for these commissioners and the staff to to hear all of these horrific stories. And finally, now it might be that this conversation is a trigger point for you because you've faced something at some point like this in your life. And so if we can help in any way, Uh, please be sure to let us know. know, From the earliest days, the church has always been known as a place of refuge and healing and restoration. I love the picture in the book of Acts in the Bible that shows a a church community that that fed the hungry and cared for the orphans and the widows, for the troubled, the sick, the marginalized. That's what people should always expect from every single one of us. So let's do everything we can to ensure our people and our places are genuinely safe.